Why should we study them? Now, these little stars are really, really efficient um, with their energy consumption. They are still burning for the experts, just burning hydrogen to helium in their cores. And they have done so for the past 12, 13 billion years, however old they are. And they're going to keep doing that for another few billion years. Same as the sun. The same sun also just does hydrogen to helium burning and will continue that for a while. Which means the outer parts of the star, well, pretty much actually most of the star, that gas doesn't talk to the core. So whatever composition that that star has, you know, in in its outer layers is exactly the same as the gas composition from which the star formed. Which means it has perfectly preserved that information from way back then all the way to today and going forward. So I'm a stellar archaeologist because I don't dig in the dirt to find remnants of past civilizations and, and whatnot. I dig for the star for the old stars in the sky because they have preserved that information from those first billion year uh, years um, in their in their outer stellar atmosphere, which is what I'm observing with telescopes. So I'm getting the best look at the chemical composition early on that you could possibly wish for. 